In previous lessons, we've gone over the word death, which is we found out to be kind of a pointer to what's in front of it. It's a pointer. For example, someone might ask you, what did you buy? What did you buy? You could say book. In English, we would just say a book, you know? What did you buy? I bought a book. A book. But in Japanese, it's a little different. But it's basically the same. Book desk. Right? So, basically, it's pointing to in front. You know? Book desk. Um, type of thing. So, uh... Death is very important. Um, some people translate it as is, but that's very, very uh, questionable about the translation. Just think of it more like a pointer, book this. Okay? Um, there's many ways to use it. Um, um, what color book was it? color book was it? You would say um, uh, green. Green desk. Right? So it's not is. Um, it's just pointing in front. Green. You know, in Japanese, desk is very powerful. So anyways, um, this is very, very powerful word to use, um, but it has various forms that you can use it with, okay? So, um, we're going to go over those forms. Death, we've already gone over, which is present tense. Present, future. Um, polite. And desta is past tense, polite. So these two are both polite. Now there's also da, which is present, future, casual, and data, which is past, casual. So both of these are casual. Okay, da and da da. So um, they basically operate still the same, same way. Let's go over an example. Um, let's see. Say someone asks, "What are you eating? What are you eating?" You could say, um, in, if you wanted to be polite, you could say, cake this. Okay? It's present future, this. Or, if you want to be casual, you could say, cake da. Cake da. And you're still in the present future. Uh, tense. Um, let's say what what were you eating? What were you eating? Well, you could say cake desta. Okay, cake desta. Basically cake, but it's past tense. We're still being polite, okay? We want to be polite, so we say cake desta. Now, if we want to do it casual, say we're with a friend or something, and just feel like being casual. So you could say cake data. Okay, that's what I was eating. Cake data. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, 
Let's go over some example problems. Okay, what are you drinking? Okay, let's answer it with juice. I'm going to answer it with juice. And we're going to answer it in the... Well, let's do all of the above. What are you? Let's do the present, future, and then let's answer it in the casual. I mean... Uh, well, no, <laughs> of course it's going to be present, future. Let's answer it in the polite. Then let's answer it in the casual. Tense. Okay, what are you drinking? Okay, go ahead, translate. Okay, let's go over. Okay, what are you drinking? Let's First, in the polite tense, we'd say juice des. Right? Present future is des in the polite tense. Now let's do it casual. Juice da. Okay? In the casual present future. Okay, let's go over another one. Um, what did you buy? Let's say a radio. Okay, let's answer in both polite and casual. Okay, so go ahead, translate. Okay, ready? Let's go over it. Okay, what did you buy? Okay, you want to say I bought a radio. So, in the polite present future, no, past, past, you'd say radio. Deshta. Radio Deshta. Okay. So pretty easy. Now let's do it in the casual past tense. You say Radio Data. Okay. So that's basically how that works important to understand all four of these words and when they're used. So uh, that's it. I'll see you next lesson.